angles in a polygon series, but our focus will be on angles in triangles. Now, the basic rules you need to understand when you are focusing on angles in triangles. The first one is the sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 80 degrees. So, therefore, means that angle A plus angle B plus angle C sum up to 180 degrees. Another rule you should understand is the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. It therefore means that the exterior angle here, angle D, is equal to the sum of the interior opposite. These are the interior angles. A, A, B, C, D, sorry, A, B, C are the interior angles. But the rule says the interior opposite angles is equal to what? The exterior angle. It therefore means that angle D is equal to the interior opposite angles. This is, these are the angles that are opposite D. So A plus B. So it therefore means that the exterior angle, which is D, is equal to the sum of A plus B, which are the two interior opposite angles. Now let's move to our examples for more understanding. Alright, for the first example, we have find the marked angles giving reasons for your answers. Now the first one, to calculate A for the value of A, we need to use the last rule we have that the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles. It therefore means that angle A is equal to angle A, sorry, plus 103 degrees is equal to 157 degrees. The exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles. That's why we are using this concept. Alright, so angle A is equal to 157 minus 103 degrees. So angle A is equal to 157 minus 103, which gives us 4, 5. So angle A is equal to 54 degrees. Now to find B, don't forget that sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So it therefore means that to calculate for angle B, angle B plus angle A plus 103 degrees give us 180 degrees and the sum of angles in a triangle equals to 180 degrees. So in this case now, A, from our answer, the first one we have 54 degrees. So B plus 54 degrees plus 103 degrees is equals to 180 degrees. So we have B plus 103 degrees plus 54 give us 7 157 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So angle B is equal to 180 degrees minus 157 degrees. So angle B is equal to 180, 180 minus 157. So we have 3, 2. So we have angle B will give us 23. Alright, for the next one, we have we have to find the mark angles in this. Now, if you look at this figure now, you note that this is Z. A Z sign has been formed there. That is an alternate angle. It therefore means that B is alternate to 67 degrees. So B is equal to 67 angle B is equal to 67 degrees. Alternate angles. They are equal. Alright, the next one, since we have gotten B to be 67 degrees, we can actually find A because this has formed an angle on a straight line. So A plus B plus 54 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Angle on a straight line. So A, angle A plus angle B plus 54 degrees is equal to 180 degrees as angle on a straight line. So A angle A plus B angle B is 67 degrees. 67 degrees plus 54 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So we have 57, sorry, 54 plus 67. So this will give us angle A plus 121 
is equal to 180 degrees. All right, we have angle A is equal to 180 degrees minus 121 degrees. So angle A is equal to 180 minus 121 to give me 9, to give me 5. So angle A is equal to 59 degrees. So A in this case is 59 degrees. All right, you can also find C. Now look at this, now there's another alternate angle here, an alternate angle. So therefore means that C is equal to 54 degrees. So angle C is equal to 54 degrees. Alternate angle. Alternate angle are equal. So if we have gotten C to be 54 degrees, it therefore means that we can actually use an angle on a straight line rule to find D. So C plus 67 degrees plus D is equal to 180 degrees angle on a straight line. So C, angle C plus 67 degrees plus D is equal to 180 degrees and it's angle on a straight line. So in this case now, we have C to be 54 degrees. So 54 degrees plus 67 degrees plus D is equal to 180 degrees. So 54 plus 67, this will give us 1. So this will give 121 degrees plus D is equal to 180 degrees. So D, angle D is equal to 180 degrees minus 121 degrees. So D is equal to 180 degrees minus 121, 9, 5. So we have 59 degrees. So angle D in this case is 59 degrees. So if you have gotten that, don't forget that this is also a triangle. So it therefore means that E, 54 degrees and 69, 67 degrees is a triangle. And sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So angle E, sorry, angle E plus 54 degrees plus 67 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So E, angle E, plus, so we have 54. 67 at 121 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So E is equal to 180 degrees minus 121 degrees. So angle E is equal to 59 degrees. Now there's another way of getting finding angle E. Don't forget that we can actually find this by saying that A is corresponding to E. So at, at the point that we had discovered that D is equal to 59 degrees, there was no point solving this. So we can say that E is corresponding to A, or A also is corresponding to E. Alright, for C, this has shown us that this is an isosceles triangle, and base angles to an isosceles triangle they are always equal. It therefore means I can also call this as x2. So now in this case now, it therefore means that, and don't forget that the exterior angle of the, the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two interior opposite angles. It therefore means that x plus x is equal to 153 degrees. So x plus x is 2x equals to 153 degrees. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2 to find x. So x is equals to 2 goes into 15, that's 7 times minus 1. 2 goes into 13, that is 6 times 1 over 2. So this is x is equals to 76.5 degrees. Alright, for the last question, you have to find the math angles giving reasons for our answer. So we have to find x and we have to find y. And if you see this, this has shown us that this is an isosceles triangle. Now, the base angle of an isosceles triangle, they are always equal. The base angle of an isosceles triangle are equal. It means that this and this are going to be equal. 
So now, how are we going to find this? So now look at this, we have sum of angles in a triangle is equals to 180 degrees. Let's call those two angles, let's use um, M. So M plus M plus 118 is equals to 180 degrees. So we have M plus M is 2M. 118 is equals to 180 degrees. So 2m is equals to 180 degrees minus 118 degrees. So 2m is equals to 62 degrees. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2 to find m. m is equals to 62 divided by 2 is 31 degrees. Alright, so we have gotten the two angles. One, one is 31, the other is 31 degrees. So in this case now we can actually find the value of x. The first one we have 58 degrees plus x plus the m, which is 31 degrees, is equals to 180 degrees. That's an angle on a straight line. So we have x plus 58 plus 31 is equals to 180 degrees. x is equals to 58 plus 31. Now give me 89 equals to 1. Zero. So x is equals to 180 degrees minus 89 degrees. x is equals to 180 minus 89. So give me 1. So 17 minus 8 give me 9. So x is equals to 91 degrees. Alright, so we are going to find y. Don't forget that this is 31 degrees. So I will have 31 degrees plus y equals to, sorry, plus y plus 53 degrees is equals to 180 degrees. That's under a straight line equals to 180 degrees. So I will have y plus 31 degrees plus 53 degrees is equals to 180 degrees. So I have y is equals to 31 plus 53 4, 8. So give me plus 84 is equals to 180 degrees. Y is equals to 180 degrees minus 84 degrees. So we have 180 minus 84 equals 6. So this will give me 9. So we have Y is equals to 96. We've come to the end of our lesson today. I hope you learned a lot. Please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exciting mathematics videos. Bye.